have one more surprise for you. <laughs> All right, today's the day. Sure so is. Randall came back for the occasion because it's a kind of a big deal. Let's try it. So we are headed up to finally reveal the golden nugget to Ed. It's been six months, a lot of work. Six months, a lot of hours, a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, and now it's finally gonna happen and he's gonna get his surprise. We also have another surprise that we've been working on. So I'm super sentimental and we had our friends from Frost This Home help us create a, an amazing surprise that we're going to give to Ed once we get to the reveal and he's going to love it. So as soon as Ben shows up, we'll be out of here. A few minutes later. Hello. Hey bro, uh, we got an accident on the road so I'm not gonna be able to make it through and you're not coming through. Oh really? So we're gonna have to go around somehow. Yep, yep. All right, we'll just, we'll run through Main Canyon and meet you on the top, I guess. Okay, that's what let's do. Let's get her done. All right, we'll load up and head out. We won't wait no more, bye. Uh, what's going on? Well, apparently uh, there is a bad crash up by the KOA. And the highway shut down. Just our luck on the day that we need to go somewhere. We ain't getting there. So we're gonna dirt road it in your suburban. How you feel about that? I don't really know how I feel about that, but I guess we have no choice because we, we no have choice. ourselves a situation. Yeah. Well, we weren't running late, but we are now. So here we go. All right, I got hold of Paul. So I'm gonna go back up the road and cross over and meet him up. He's gonna hit a dirt road and hopefully we'll make it on time. We are just coming up to the turnoff for our shortcut road to get us around the traffic accident. Ben said it was just above us right here, so we got dirt for the next 20 miles. All right, so we've been on this dirt road, our cutoff road that got us around the crash for five minutes or so we got a little bit longer we should be meeting up with ben then we can try to make some time and see if we can make the gold nugget we weren't planning on a crash and the highway being shut down but all right looks like my ride's here finally are we ready we're late let's go all right we got ben we got the whole crew here and now we're on our way right ben on, ready to go. Let's do this. We can make it on time, right? Yeah, have to motor to get there. All right. Yeah, we have to get after it. All right, so we just barely left the pavement. We're on a dirt road now, so six-ish miles from now, we should be able to hang a left and find Hopefully. It. That's what it says. Hopefully. He does have a drop time. Look at that, drop time buck. You don't see those every day. We're in a hurry and trying to make it to this event, but we have to stop and look at this buck. <laughs> yeah, you gotta see a buck. They're rare these days. Wait, where's Johnny Boy when we need him? He's the one that finds all the bucks. It looks like it's gonna rain on us anyway. Oh my we gosh. got that going for us. Yep, this like, is all just clay here, so we'll be fine. It's 64 degrees. It looks like rain over there. And Michelle's got shorts and flip-flops on. That's normal. It's normal. It's really looking like it's looking like we went about three miles past the right turn off. Are you kidding me? So yeah, we need right to here. flip. Uh... Yeah, you're gonna need to turn around. We're we're way off the beaten path here. Oh great. We are gonna miss the entire first part of the reveal. Status update. We know where we're at, but we don't know where everybody else is with the golden nugget. We're pretty sure that this is way farther than it said on the thing, but I don't know. We're going to turn left right here and see. Dude, that's raining really bad right there. Yep. Oh, geez. Here's the blends. Yep. Okay, we're on the right track. Well, I guess I knew where I was going. 
Yeah, it's nice. Inside, underneath, all fixed up. Room for your cooler in the back. Looks like Paul just showed up. Hi. Welcome hey. to the party, guys. This is business as usual. Hi. I'm gonna roll this window up. Well, Ben, be honest. How does it how does it ride? It rides good. It does. It's a little small for a big guy, <laughs> but it does good. I love it. The first time that I talked to you about getting that, you we went over to somebody else's shop and they had one of these old Suzukis, and you said, "I've got one of those on my claim." And I said, we should go get that. That was probably six, seven years ago when we talked yeah, about it. Yeah, that was three years before we went and got it. And At least. Yeah. I talked to your friend, Fred, and Fred said, they don't want us to do any blasting. They don't want us to take down any construction equipment. And they just wanted us to be like as surgical as possible. Okay. This, we need this many people down there. Who do we trust? Because everybody had to be trusted. Fred had to trust them. Ed had to trust them. I, you know, I had to trust them. So went down. So we went down to look at it. And that was Paul and myself and Trevor. And you were already down there. And Fred. Yeah. With Fred. I was worried about them all getting poison oak, but nobody did. Trevor was worried about I poison oak. I was itching yeah. the whole time. <laughs> well, it was Like, I had it without having it. <laughs> the highlight of the trip was the berries were on. Yeah, once yeah. I figured the berries out, I didn't care about poison oak. We're, I'm eating them. We're so like, we could live here. <laughs> it was in pretty bad shape. And then, the time I got through the trail and through the river, <laughs> it was beat up worse. <laughs> I, I apologize. It was the worst shape. Yeah whole thing was just a good time. Just a good time. Yeah, we start excited. to finish. The challenge of it was enough of a challenge that it was fun. You got it out and now it's in beautiful shape. Couldn't be better. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Well, like I said, I'm really sentimental. And so when we got the golden nugget in our shop, Ed still had his stuff in there. He had a lot of stuff in there. He had books. He had stuff in the glove compartment. And so we decided when we give him the golden nugget that we're going to put all that stuff back. I went through the footage and I paused it and zoomed in to make sure I got all the books that we found in there to replace them with new ones. And not only that surprise, but we have an even better one too that we think everyone's gonna love, especially Ed. All right, so we're putting everything back in that we found. Boric acid, but cutter bug spray, Afrin, a few spark plugs back in along with all his little books putting those back in oh and greg elliott built him this that we're gonna put in here as well he's gonna love it we were just talking to eric and uh i was telling him how much i love the flashbacks of eric in the golden nugget when they were getting it out <laughs> i feel stuff crawling on me already like i feel very vulnerable like i can tip over at any time and i asked him if he's been in it yet and he said no so, I am more willing. For the first time, and it looks like it's a little cleaner. Definitely more willing. I got it. How's the, how's the sniff test? Is it oh, smelling better? It smells like a new vehicle. <laughs> I like this. I love it. I like this it's thing. A little bit better. It seems like you're in a better mood now <laughs> from the first time. Holy crud! I can drive this now. You drove it last time. Yeah, you did a good job. I didn't want to. <laughs> How did you get elected for that anyway? It was you. <laughs> okay, so we've been lying to Ed for approximately, well, I've been lying to him for like four months. So it's pretty good to not have to lie to you anymore, Ed. Yeah. What do you think of it? Oh, it's great. You've done a great job on that motor and everything. It's Let's go check great. it out. Well, sh I'll show you what I know about it. Yeah. <laughs> so Trevor was our contact. Yeah. Trevor found all these parts. Yeah. So we, when we would need something, we'd call Trevor up and be like, hey, this is what we're looking for, and he would track the parts down for us. So I wondered why every time he's on the phone, he walked away from me. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. So how fast did you ever drive this, Ed? Uh, 
40 was about top speed. I, I probably didn't get it over 20 or 30. No, so no. I've been 70 in it. Really? You can 70? let go of the steering wheel at 70. It drives good. Gee, I'm amazed. Yep. It, so obviously this fender's not original because Matt ruined it. Oh, yeah. He drug it into a right rock. In the bumper, right? Yep. So parts, parts of the grill are your original. This fender's yours. That door's yours. The back door is yours off of yours. Yeah. The frame is all yours. The rear leaf springs are yours. Wiper arms, all the little stuff came yeah. out of yours. So there's a lot of your original nugget right here. But you fixed it up to worse. 10 times better than the old oh, one. Oh yeah, <laughs> yep. So the motor came out of the tracker that's in your yard, the one for Lizzie. Tight fit, but you got it in there. Yep. When oh. you turn this on, it makes it so your winch will work. Winch. Your air cleaner's off of Briggs and Stratton. <laughs> <laughs> It's the only one we could find that fit where it needed to. Power steering, it never had that. What is this? It's your coolant reservoir. I want to show you what we did. Come over That's here. That's pretty original. When we cleaned this out, we found stuff in here. Oh yeah? Yeah, and we put it back. Oh. Everything that was in your glove box is in there. Spark plugs. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be darned. Thank and you. not only that, we found a lot of books in here. Books? So we put all your original books back in here too. Oh yeah. <laughs> Some old westerns. Yep. Yeah. Those were the exact books that were in here. That is super cool. So the books that were floating, <laughs> floating down the river, that's crazy. But Ed, we have one more surprise for you. Okay. Oh. Turn it around. Oh man, that's the original door. Look at that. Yeah, we got all your mining. pictures. Look at that. My old mining partner. Yeah, this is a 12 inch that took South America. Big one. Hey, thank you. Yeah, that's me and my brother, my folks. It's my old mining partner. This is old one. There I was diving, dredging. It's Bill and here down in Arizona, dry washing. So we build a that. frame. You it's can a, hang it up. You can hang it on the wall. Yeah. And then if you want to put different pictures in it ever, you just push this oh. up. Oh. So your original window's in here. Yeah. It's this, in it yeah, still. Yeah, this is yeah. the original window. It, it worked pretty good for me. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> that is amazing. Anyway, yep. I just want to give you a hug. Oh. <laughs> like, <laughs> and thank, thank you. you so much for letting us be a part of this, even though you didn't know about it. Yeah. <laughs> like, thank you for letting us be a part yeah, and to Matt's off-road recovery. A lot of work. Yeah, but it was it. worth every pit. Everything we put into this was worth it. No. Well, this, you'll be able to look at this and remember some stuff. Yeah, it's something. Yep. Well, wow. thank you for the opportunity, Ed. Yeah. Even though you didn't know you were giving it to me, thank uh, you. <laughs> Where's Paula? How do I drive it? Oh, yeah. 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 Eric, oh, you want to do the challenge? I forgot to mention yeah. how majestic yeah. we have it. your mullet is. Oh, yeah? That's looking good. Do you want to know who done my hair? Me, myself, and I. Are you kidding me? All by myself in the mirror. I love it. <laughs> Isn't it cool to be a part of all this? See these guys get this all done. All right, it's been a pretty long day so far. It's, it's awesome got his though. nugget back. It's been great. We're out of here. Hopefully there won't be any crashes or detours or anything crazy on the way home. <laughs> we can just drive home and go back we to got work. We that all so. out of our system. Yep. Okay, so 
Ed possesses the golden nugget once again. He loves it. We were on our way home until Michelle made an executive decision to go to, for sushi. And then we'll go home. Get the door for you. Ready for this, Randall? You know I. <laughs> Time to go home. We're done. We're full. Sick of pork in us all. <laughs> We're out of here. Golden Nugget is given back to Ed. It's been delivered. Ed loves it. It's been a great day. We want to thank Ed. Even though he didn't know it was happening without him, this would have never happened. And we want to thank Matt's Off-Road Recovery for allowing us to be part of this awesome project. And also, Robbie Layton, he did a ton of body work on that thing and made it look awesome, so. So many people have taken part in this and it turned out so good and we're thankful to be a part of it. Yep, thank you guys. Thanks for watching.